Que rollo con el pobre mi raza Welcome back You guys won't believe what happened So it turns out that we got a job, right? But this is not no ordinary job So it turns out that the people giving us the work Are actually one of you guys One of my supporters, you know My mom actually came with my dad To come look at this job a couple of days ago And as soon as I got home They were like, yeah, Jerry, guess what? I was like, ¿Qué pasó? And they were like, we got a job. We got a really big job, but guess what? And I was like, what? Like, you know? They said that they got our number off of one of your videos and that they watch your videos and they, and they fuck with your content. I was just like, damn, dude. I was having a shitty beginning of the year and then just everything just just turned, you know? And then this is when, when I'm a big believer of God and, and todo su tiempo, you know? And there's good and bad, you know? Not only that, but also, guys, I woke up and I hopped on Facebook. I know, um, I'm, I'm such a tío already on Facebook. Who uses Facebook still? But that's not the point. I went on Facebook and I saw something that really, really, really opened up my eyes. And I feel like it's just, got, it's, it's all part of God's plan, you know, because all this is, is happening right at the right moment. I mean, unfortunately, somebody did lose a life and it looked like it was a, a taquachillo because I think the mom or the dad posted this and it said how the, the son was speeding going 120 or something like this because I think uh, he got a message from a girl who was shooting on, on him or, or whatever the case is, you know. I don't want to make up rumors. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here if you guys are interested. Or maybe just leave the link down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. It turns out that the young man died in a car crash. He wrecked this freaking truck. And the most important part of that message was that the parent was trying to reach out to younger people, for example, like me, telling us that to not feel indestructible, that uh, our life could get taken away at any moment. And that's absolutely right, you know. I did read a comment in one of my last videos. Don't worry about the bad stuff. You're too busy counting the bad stuff. You're too busy focusing on the bad stuff that you're not counting your blessings. And you're absolutely right, bro. Um, I really appreciate that comment. I needed that. I needed all this that's going on right now. But I hope you guys enjoy this work routine. Let's get straight to it. It's just me, my dad, and one of our trimmers. Let's get this bread, baby. First thing first, let's admire this freaking house rancho whatever you want to call it man it's freaking amazing you know we we're just talking about what i'm going to be doing hopefully this year and something like this sorry i'm out of breath i was working off camera but something like this is exactly what i want i know más para que se den una, una idea you know of why i'm sacrificing my trucks but i think i think we could get it done so check it out the front gate is over there. We just entered from over there. We just come down. And then this is pretty much the front, the front yard. Look at all this land. And that's not even over yet. So look, there's still all this driveway, you know. Let's try to do the math and see how many freaking, not just trucks, but how many vehicles fit here, you know. Look at this. And something that I like as well is uh, they have a uh, nopales. And over here they have like their own little garden of a, uh, they have their own little garden of a uh, chiles growing. This is the type of stuff that my parents like to do. Look at that. But man, oh man, you know, my parents are uh, flower lovers, you know. So this is what I have planned. Not only that, but the house it might not be too new, but it's still beautiful, perfect, well taken care of. The landscaping, you know, look at all these nice, beautiful pavers. And not only that, but uh, they do have this uh, aparato. It's kind of like a cannon, but not really. And then check it out. This is what I noticed too, that not only do they support me, but they support on the gas, which is freaking badass. And it looks like there's a single cab right off the bat right there. And then I think probably the best part of the entire house is this altar. Look at this. La Mera Poderosa. La Virgencita de Guadalupe. Check it out, man. This is one looking out from my Mexican people for the most part. But this job site, guys, sorry I got kind of carried away. I'm over here pretending like it's my house. I'm manifesting it. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, we're doing for the most part palm trees. And this, if you guys are wondering, Jerry, what the hell? What are you gonna cut? Shout out to the trimmer. He already went ahead and did this one. There's another one here. He already went ahead and did two. And he already did three total. This is what they look like before. All dirty and filled up. And this is what they look like after. Nice and smaller. And check it out. I am then chinga el worker. And man, this guy's super, super fast. I let them over here trying to take notes, but I think it's gonna take me a long, long time. We literally only been here for about 30 minutes and he already did three. 
it might sound like a little bit, but man, if you're in this business, you know, that's pretty fast. I don't want to say the fastest because I know you guys are going to start with your comments, but this guy's pretty fast. My dad says there is a total of about uh, 18 palm trees that we're doing. I haven't really walked around the house too much, but but if we start counting, there's already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I believe there's another two over there, smaller ones. But guys, back to this land, I'm sorry, but... Don't think, don't think this land ends just right here where this fence is at. The land keeps going that way. Is what my dad told me. My dad became friend, good friends with the with the house owner, I believe. And and he was telling him a lot of the about the house. Look, they have nice, beautiful stairs. They have this bridge. You know, just me being here, I'm just thinking about for my channel all the content that could could be made here. You know. Look at this cool little bridge. I'm thinking for my for my kids, as I mentioned. You know, I'm doing it all for my kids as well. I'm trying to leave them set for the future. They have a machinery here. You guys already know my dad knows how to do all this uh, landscaping. So, you know, I think something like this would be badass. But these are the palm trees. And one of the best parts about getting a job site like this is that when the trash falls, our, our cutter, he doesn't have to worry about uh, damaging anything because we have all this pretty much free play. This is where all the trash could pretty much fall. Man, this guy's the beast. We just gotta be careful about the inside to not damage anything. But if we go ahead and walk around, we have uh, free play there too, where things won't get damaged. Check it out. So when it's like this, usually we give better deals just because um, just because there's really nothing we gotta be careful with. But once you start putting stuff around, once you start putting stuff around, then that's why we gotta sometimes charge a little bit more because we gotta be more careful. And then shout out to my dad. He's down there, look. We're not just doing palm trees though. We're doing a couple of small little trees. I believe that's a, that's a pirul. If I'm correct. There's like three three small little trees over there that we're gonna be doing as well. And there's more around the house. This bigger one we're doing as well, it looks like. And then what I'm doing besides recording is I'm picking up this all this trash and loading it up to the trash. So the trash, you go to the work truck. And the work truck was empty, but I remember before I started the video, I was tired. It's because we're loading up, uh, I was loading up all this trash. Good thing that the work truck is really, really big. They aguanta mucho, mucha carga. The only thing that's killing me is my small little pollito legs. You guys know I don't really work them out. So coming up and down the slope, believe it or not, it's tiring. Fun fact, that's the only thing Compalado doesn't like about working with us. He said that whenever it's hills, don't even call him because he don't want to help. Well, my dad is getting chinga. So let's get it. Guys, so my dad just walked me to the back of the property. And oh my God, man, I'm in love. So check it out. Hay otras casitas y todos en su terreno. Look at that. And I think this might be a, like a road. But look at all this property. All the same property. This is what this is what I was talking about. Only bad part, guys, is this house. I want to say it's well worth over a million dollars, or just about. If you guys know your areas around here, this is located in Riverside. And man, you know, for something like something with this much land, not too much is gonna run you. But as I mentioned, also it wouldn't hurt uh, buying a lot with this much space. And then just later building your, your dream house or buying a mobile home or something like that. And that would be a lot cheaper. And I think it would be a lot better because you work at your own pace. And then also I think later on we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we can record. I think they're doing a swap on the OBS. But this is what we're doing. We got the fourth one down already. He's on the fifth one. 
and also I didn't record but this guy freaking jumped from that palm tree to another one without coming on the way down he just jumped like a monkey I'm gonna try to record it I know he's gonna keep doing it Man, oh man, this guy is freaking crazy. Me quito la gorra para él, la neta que. Promise you guys, I hasn't even been two hours. He's pretty much done with all of them except for like five. Pretty, pretty much knocked down the the tallest ones, the ones that were all together. And uh, I really wanted to record all the jumps that he was doing, but I just couldn't because I was behind the rope, pulling him with my dad because obviously the the gap between the palm trees. They're way too, they're, they're way too stretched out. He, he can't make the jump by himself. So he just needed us as support as putting him. This guy's crazy. This guy's badass, look at that. See, so pretty much all these punches here. He got them done. Now we just need uh, those three over there. That one I didn't even realize it, but it kind of grew in between that. Uh, it kind of grew in between uh, that, that, that shade. And uh, the guy's way too nice, man. He's offering his food. He said he told me earlier off camera to not order food because we're going to go ahead and uh, he's preparing us some food, some beans or whatever it is. So really freaking blessed, man. But that's it. Just like that, he finished this one. Not only is he a fast climber, but also a uh, fast trimmer. He cuts very fast. And my guy has been trimming for only four going on to five years. And he has that much experience already. Look at him. This is how he gets down. I showed you guys in one of the Christmas vlogs, so he doesn't get tired. He's just swinging down. Look at that. He makes it look fun. I even told him off camera. And he said he loves his job. He said he wouldn't trade it for anything. And he said he'd rather, do, he'd rather be up in palm trees than trees. Look at that. Damn, bro. That looks fun. Check it out, this is what we're eating. Bueno, pues mi gente, acabamos de comer, estamos bien llenecitos, pero lo bueno es que ya aquí el camarada está en la última, no palma, pero en la última más alta. Ya quedan tres de las chiquitas, pero por lo más batalloso, está finished up, you know. All of the high ones are pretty much, all of the tallest ones are pretty much done. My boy's on the last one, and we got like three left, but baby ones. Hidden. So those are all nice. It's all clean. Para que no vayan a decir que pura camarita para mí. Todo el cochinero ya lo levanté con mi jefe. Y el camarada está haciendo la última. Ya nos faltan tres chiquitas. Y ya llegó también el compa Lalo. No sé a qué vino. Dice que iba a venir a ayudar, pero llegó bien tarde. Si ya se acabó el jale. And also, like I mentioned, they found me through the videos and they got a couple of OBSs here in Badass Trucks. And it turns out that the dad is working on the project, on his son's project. Shout out to the son. He said he's the one uh, who watches the videos with his dad. And that's how they got in contact with us. Bueno, mi raza, aquí van unos días después. Y hemos trabajado bastante aquí, bastante días, nada más que no, no hemos grabado. Porque hemos, hemos estado un poco ocupados. Pero yo creo ya hoy es el último día. Y como les había yo mencionado, we're gonna do these trees as well, estos pirules. Nomás son tres. Estos dos ya quedaron. Miren, así es como quedan. You can see through them. They're more transparent. And this is what they look like before you do them. Están más llenecitos. So, arriba, arriba del árbol anda mi tío. My dad's at the bottom. Helping out to finish faster. And what I'm doing is, I'm carrying all this trash. And I'm walking it all the way over there. All the way over there. I don't know if you guys could see. There's a ladder. And I climb up that ladder. And I throw it over the fence. And then when I got more free time, I jump the fence. And then from there, I start walking all the way over there. So that's where we're piling it up. It's a little bit far. But uh, it's because we have the wood chipper. And my dad's shredding it over there. We could literally just drive it in the in the driveway in here 
All I have to do is just walk through here. But my dad's just telling me to do that. I don't know why, but it's okay. So that's what we're doing. And then pretty much we already cleaned the, the slope. And that's pretty much it. This should be the last tree. Maybe cut that one a little bit and that should be a wrap. So check it out guys. Now we jumped the fence. I moved all the trash. Put it a lot closer for my dad to use uh, with the wood chipper. And also these clients here, they said that the trash or, or todo lo que salga del wood chipper se puede quedar aquí since they have a really big lot. So check it out. You see all the mulch. It's pretty, it's pretty much mulch, which is not bad because it's the same thing as mulch. Nothing will happen. This is what happens when you have a lot of nice empty land. You can do this. There's all the trash que salió from those three little trees. Now it goes into the wood chipper. Got my uncle out here. 